Toblerone factory, the cocoa beans are first roasted till they achieve a dark brown coloration. The roasted beans are peeled, crushed, and grounded till it looks like a liquid chocolate mess. A beautiful mess, I'd say, which is formed due to the cocoa butter in the cocoa beans. This mess might look like chocolate, but it's not there yet because this raw cocoa is somewhat bitter. After the chocolate mess is formed, sugar and milk are added to it, and a conch, a chocolate mixing machine, mixes the ingredients together to give a mixture that tastes much better than just the liquid chocolate mess. The milk for Toblerone is gotten from 14,000 Swiss cows. Milk powder is an original idea by Philip Suchard, and this idea is over 100 years old. Milk powder is used because it blends best with the cocoa mess because there is hardly any water content. Upon addition of the milk and sugar, the chocolate is still very coarse. Therefore, it is milled for an extended period until the content is very fine and small. The long stirring time makes the chocolate softer and creamier. And about seven conches run simultaneously in the Toblerone factory. Then, unique nougat pieces, which give the chocolate its exquisite taste, is then added. To make the nougat, honey is boiled until small bubbles are formed. While the honey is boiling, the icing sugar is mixed with water and allowed to boil too. The icing sugar paste is then mixed with the honey and allowed to boil, forming a honey syrup. Once the honey syrup is cooled down, egg whites are whisked together, and then, the honey syrup is added. The almond nuts are poured into the egg white honey syrup mix and put in a refrigerator to chill, forming a nougat. The nougat is eventually brought out of the refrigerator and broken into bits. The small bits of nougat are then mixed together with the chocolate and poured into a Toblerone mold, spread out evenly and left to cool. The resulting Toblerone chocolate is eventually packaged and stored for final consumer consumption. There are about 11 different varieties of this sweet chocolate. This chocolate company has played around with different flavors, such as fruit and nut, white chocolate, honeycomb, crispy coconut, salted almond, dark chocolate, and much more. However, if you're looking for a sweet creamy taste, you could opt for the white chocolate Toblerone. This chocolate bar has the same delectable honey and almond nougat, simply excluding any cocoa from the favorite blend. You could also try the milk chocolate with crunchy almonds, which takes the iconic classy milk chocolate bar and adds some crunch with a touch of premium caramelized almonds. However, my all-time personal favorite is the iconic Swiss chocolate a creamy almond nougat which is still one of the world's most iconic chocolate brands for over a hundred years. Chocolate in its varied forms, candy bars, cocoa, cakes, and cookies, is probably everyone's favorite confection.